Here is a simple explanation of the use specification of the robot. Move and pick up the robot. Hold the lower end of the back of the robot with four fingers of the right hand or left hand, as shown in the video. Put the thumb at the upper end of the back of the robot. The robot can be moved and operated on the back after being held tightly. The user can turn on the power or press the start button to reset the robot. The robot's joints can be swung before the power is on. When the robot is powered on, the user is not allowed to forcibly swing the robot's joints or grasp its hands or feet. The flat and smooth place is required when the robot is ordered to dance. To move the dancing robot or stop its dancing, the user must hold the back of the robot. The user is not allowed to grasp the robot's hands or feet to move it. If the robot falls on its back in dancing, the user can hold the head of the robot to lift it up. If the falls on its chest, the user can hold the back of the robot to lift it up. The user is not allowed to grasp the robot's hands or feet to lift up the fallen robot. Here is a simple explanation of the use of the robot. After getting the machine, switch on and press the reset button to allow the robot to be in reset mode. Start the software. When the notes are popped up, click the agree button to enter the app interface. Click the scan button. When a list of optional robots appears, click the robot to be connected. After being connected successfully, the robot will blink its LED eyes. After a successful connection, the user can change the name of the robot or delete the connection. Check the connected robot and click its icon to enter the menu of the robot. The demo list which is in the middle of the menu interface can be browsed by being moved up and down. The program can be run when the list is clicked. When the program is running, the user can click the pause key to suspend the robot program and click it again to restart the program. The LED light button can be clicked to turn on or off the LED light on the robot. The robot's volume can be adjusted through the scroll bar. Click the alarm button to start the reservation function. In this mode, the user can choose the reservation time and procedure. Return to the main menu and select the remote control mod. After entering the interface, Click Edit button in the middle to start the mode of customizing keys and then define the program of each key. Once the programs are defined, again click the Edit button to enter the room. Click the button Set Already to run the program Set Already.